Welcome back to another episode of Disrupting Asia. I'm Kian, your host here at Disrupting Asia and currently based in sunny Chiang Mai in northern Thailand. Disrupting Asia is a platform that helps to connect entrepreneurs in Asia. Our aim is to build communities around the continent and to become the number one source for reliable news and information around Asia startups. Every week, we will feature talented entrepreneurs here in Asia who build and grew successful businesses here. We will also talk about essential skills, tools and systems that will make not only your business but also you personally more successful. In this episode, we will talk about why you should stop asking to pick somebody's brain and what you can do instead. As an aspiring entrepreneur, you may want to reach out to those who are already established and run successful businesses, especially when it's within the same industry. We are always looking at them as experts, as people who made it, perhaps even as mentors. And now it's easier than ever to get hold of someone's contact details, whether it's an entrepreneur, famous blogger, or somebody within your company you're admiring, a quick search will do and you're provided with the contact details. But now what? Sending a quick mail like, hey John, Brian here, can I take you for a coffee to pick your brain? And the next thing you hope for is sitting at Starbucks and getting mentored? Well, no. Just think about how many times your potential mentor might have been asked this already, probably even just this week. How many other people just like you looking for meeting this particular person to pick his or her brain? What does the brain picky benefit from? Always be extremely prepared. I can't emphasize this enough. Do your homework and prepare yourself before reaching out to someone. Do note that those people, be it an investor, an entrepreneur or CEO, will immediately put your mail in one of the following two categories. Worth of my time, waste of my time. So how can you possibly stand out? Use the following tips. Number one, don't ask to pick someone's brain. Just don't. There are so many ways of approaching someone rather than asking, hey, can I pick your brain? You can do way better than this. Plus, there are so many better phrases you can use. For example, hey, can I get your advice on? Or I'd love to hear your perspective on X, Y, Z. Please understand that entrepreneurs, executives and CEOs are getting paid to only use their brain. They're not producing fidget spinners. Number two, how to reach out. One way that almost always works is reaching out through so-called warm contacts, speaking through mutual contacts who will directly or indirectly act as the middleman. This can be, for example, through somebody both of you know within your company. Another great way is using your contacts on LinkedIn. Needless to say, you have to stand out when sending an email. Make the message more personal. First, keep it short and sweet. Don't tell your life story. Your potential mentor has, like you, a lot of work to do, so make him or her feel important. It's their time you're getting, it's you who is asking, they are more important than you are. Start your mail by simply telling them how you came across their name in one or two sentences. The next paragraph should briefly describe what you want. Make sure you highlight some common bonds. This is to connect emotionally, like for example a company you both worked for or a university both of you visited or some common interest. But don't be creepy. Keep your research to Google or LinkedIn. Stay away from Facebook or Instagram. Nobody wants you to talk about their recent family vacation or birthday party. Now back to the approach. Ask for a meeting at their convenience. For example, at or near the company or the office. Remember, it's you who wants something, so treat him or her accordingly. Ask a closed question at the end that can be instantly replied with a yes or no. For example, would it be possible for us to meet for a coffee next week? Make your request time bound somewhere between 20 to 30 minutes. Here's the tip. In order to stand out from the crowd in a good way, write your mail a bit witty and unexpected with something that will stick in minds. That way you're already memorable and chances are high that nobody will press the delete button of your mail. Number three, the meeting. Shower up on time. Be five to ten minutes earlier there. Be clear with what you want and what you want to ask, so prepare yourself accordingly. Please do not expect that the person will suddenly give you all their wisdom and throw around ideas. Rather, come up with a specific question and then steer the conversation towards this direction. Don't expect them to lead the conversation. Be brief. Again, don't tell your life story. People have tight schedules and crazy demands. 
be polite and thank them. In the end, thank them again for their time. Send them an email afterwards and saying thanks for their time and insights. Add value and offer your help. Even if you're in the early stage of your career, you have probably a specific expertise in a certain field. In order to offer help with anything, make sure you listen closely to what they say and then simply ask something like, hey, I'd love to help you on this fascinating project. Please let me know if I can add value in any way. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to the podcast already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We're on every major platform such as Stitcher, Anchor and iTunes. Also, head over to www.disrupting.asia to stay in the loop as we publish epic content on a regular basis. www.disrupting.asia Thank you very much for listening and I see you on the next episode.